Hi everyone, in this video I am going to tell you about isolation between transmitter and receiver. So what do you mean by isolation? What do you mean by isolation? Isolation is nothing but separation. Isolation is nothing but separation. So there should be a separate elements so have to be used. We have to use like a antennas antennas we have to separate like for the transmitting section and as well as for receiving section in the cw radar consult the basic block diagram of cw radar and let us know why we need to separate the transmitting and receiving sections so in the transmitting section of cw radar we need a cw transmitter we have a cw transmitter that is the only block in the transmitting section which is connected to the antenna and in the receiving section we don't have any duplexer type element here directly we have a contact from the antenna to the mixer the first stage is mixer the output of mixer is connected to beat frequency amplifier what is the beat frequency amplifier which is used to amplify the doppler frequency component beat frequency amplifier and the output of this one is connected to pair of earphones or indicator we can call it as indicator which is used to indicate the doppler frequency shift fd okay so what is the problem in this uh, basic cw block diagram during transmission we are transmitting a signal with a frequency f0 and during reception we are having a signal frequency with f0 plus or minus fd and the leakage signal will also enter into this uh, uh, receiver that is f0 so f0 f0 get cancelled and fd is remained here that is amplified and receiving at the output <coughs> that is okay with respect to the block diagram and operation but why we need to separate uh, in order to identify the targets at long distance we need to transmit very high power signal that's why we are using some amplifiers in the high power amplifiers in the transmitting section and sending the signal towards towards the object but if such a high power signal enters into the receiver, receiver simply damages. This is what we have learned in the case of a pulse radar system. The same case with this CW radar also, the high power should not directly enter into the receiver so that the receiver will be damaged. So we need to give some isolation between transmitter and receiver. Otherwise, we have to separate two antennas. Isolation is in terms of isolation, how we can give? one way is to separate to separate antennas antennas that means one transmitting antenna and one more is receiving antenna okay so we can use it separate transmitting and receiving antennas so that isolation is provided okay and a leakage signal from the transmitting section, we can take a F0 as a leakage signal and, uh, and to eliminate what is the F0 transmitted in the receiving signal. Okay, so one way to use two separate antennas or else we can also use this devices like uh, what are the devices we can use for the isolation purpose? We can use devices like duplexer, circulator or any match T junctions all these topics you might have studied in a microwave engineering subject match T junction or any type of uh, race rat rat race junction also there rat race junction so these are the different duplexer devices a duplexer uh, we can call it as uh, what is that directional coupler is also there duplexer these are different duplexer elements direction coupler is also there directional coupler okay so these are the different types of duplexer elements which are used to separate transmitting and receiving signals uh, so that the receiving signal should not enter into the transmitting section and the transmitting signal should not enter into the receiving section such type of mechanism can also be incorporated a between this uh, antenna transmitter and receiving sections okay and, and another way is we need to separate transmitting and receiving antennas suppose let us consider one example 
The isolation between transmitter and receiver can be obtained with a single antenna by using a hybrid junction. So all these are different hybrid junctions. So hybrid junction nothing but match T junction. We can use any one of these or else we can use a separate antennas. So the isolation achieved by hybrid junctions such as magic T, rat race, directional couplers is around 60 decibels. So what is the amount of isolation? Isolation provided by match T, match T junction or rat race junction is around 60 decibels is around 60 decibels in extreme pressure cases so the isolation in practical cases is limited to 30 decibels so this is theoretically 60 decibels but practically it will give an isolation of only 30 decibels but Practically, they will give an isolation of 30 decibels. So, practically, they will give only 30 decibels, but ideally, they are uh, especially we can say they can give up to 60 decibels, but they will give only 30 decibels of practical isolation so the limitation of 6 db loss on overall performance using hybrid junctions is going to waste of the transmitted power and of the received power so what is the amount of transmitted power what is the amount of received power in this we are losing 6 db because of this isolation along with this 30 db okay so 6 decibels 6 db loss in transmitter and received signals because of hybrid isolations hybrid junction isolations hybrid junction is nothing but magic T junction sir okay so the largest I will tell you here the largest isolations are obtained with the largest isolations are obtained with two antennas two antennas this is what the case i have explained first okay two separate antennas have to be used for transmitting and receiving section this gives better isolation compared to usage of different duplexer components in between transmitter receiver and antenna okay so two antennas as i discussed in the previous case one is for transmission and another is for reception okay so isolation what is the amount of isolation it will give it will give an isolation in the order of 80 decibels are more possible with two separate antennas so isolation of isolation of 80 decibels is possible with two separate antennas isolation of 80 decibels is possible with two separate antennas which we cannot get using any of the duplex elements so the more detective so the more direct to the antenna beam and the greater the spacing between the antennas the greater will be the isolation suppose if you are having a narrow beam i am transmitting a narrow pass by narrow beams then isolation between transmitter and receiver must be very high that means more narrow beam 
requires more isolation okay hope you understand so what do you mean by the isolation isolation is nothing but it is used to separate transmitting and receiving signals so the methods to separate the transmitting and receiving signals is one way is to use a duplexer like a directional coupler magic t junction uh, um, couple, uh, what is that circulator rat ray junction these are the different duplexer components we can use or else a separate antenna another method is to use a separate antennas for both transmitting and receiving sections so we have studied how the isolation in the case of uh, magic t and all the duplexer components it gives an uh, it gives a uh, what is the isolation of 60 decibels but practically they will give an isolation of only 30 decibels along with the 60b is the loss in the transmitting and receiving signals but whereas uh, if we are using a separate antennas for both the transmitter and receivers then it gives an uh, isolation of 80 decibels which is very high compared to the normal duplexer devices okay which is very high see 80 decibels is very high compared to the normal duplexer devices that too without any loss in the transmitting and receiving signals so that's why when we are going for the isolation uh, between the transmitter and receiver in the CW radar definitely it is better to go for two separate antennas instead of single antenna okay and more narrow the beam if you want to transmit long distance then we need to narrow the beam we need to reduce the beam width so that the beam becomes narrow if it is more narrow then the isolation between the transmitter and receiver must also be more both are proportional to each other okay so that's why isolation is required and uh, uh, two separate antennas we need to use in the CW radar block diagram. So that's why CW radar block diagram will be again uh, remodified to get a more uh, accurate results and loss uh, to avoid any loss of information in the transmitting and receiving signals. Thank you.